Let's take a look at graphing log functions on HP Prime uh, graphing calculator. And let's take a look at our first one. So we got uh, y is equal to log x minus 2. Okay. If you're not back at your apps, um, go ahead and press your apps button. And uh, you want to highlight function, press enter. And we have a log button. This log button here is base 10. So we just press the log, and it puts the beginning parentheses and closing parentheses, and then we just have to put our x minus 2 inside of it, and then press enter. And then if I press plot, that'll almost give us our graph. I cannot figure out um, why these uh, graphing calculators cannot graph logs. Uh, I suppose there's some kind of mathematical reason. But the graph looks like something like this. These graphs never just stop. This keeps going down forever. It's skimming this, getting closer and closer to it, but never touching it, never crossing it. So that'd be that should be your answer. Um, looking more like this, but continuing down forever. Okay, let's look at this one. We've got y is equal to natural log of x plus 3. Well, if I go back to my symbol, press my backspace, clean that out, then we'll do natural log. That's the LN button, this one right here. So I push that, it puts the beginning parentheses, closing parentheses. I just had to put in my x plus 3, press enter, and then we press plot. Now again, they never just stop. gonna look like that more or less <laughs> I don't draw these very well but you get the idea and then a third one log base 3 of x minus 1 I'm gonna show you two different ways of doing this one now this first graph we looked at was base 10 it just said log this one is base e it just says uh, ln natural log. This one has a number here, so it has base 3. Okay, one way to graph that, if we do symbol, do a backspace, clean that out. If we're going to the math template, if I click this, it pops up with my, my template. One of, the, one of the items in the template is your log, so if I do a down arrow twice and right arrow over, I want to choose this one. And then if I press enter, you see it's log B, and then it's at, waiting for us to put a base in. So I'll put a 3 in, and um, then I write her over, and that'll put me inside my parentheses, and then I'll do x minus 1, and then press enter. So log, uh, log base 3 of x minus 1. And now if we press plot, then that would be our graph. And... Um, Something like that. Again, it keeps going down forever, never just stops. That's one way. It could be in your college algebra class. What I always require my class to show is I want to see the change of base setup. I don't care that their calculator um, uh, does that really nice. Um, I want to make sure that my students know how to use it. Well, for the change of base, we could rewrite this as log x minus 1 over log 3. The reason why we choose log is because we have a log button on our calculator. Or you could do ln, natural log. You can actually do any base, but those are only two that would make sense if you're going to plug in your calculator, because uh, those are what you have buttons for. Now the way it works is whatever follows a log right here always goes up on top. And then Whatever your base is, whatever number's right here, is always what goes right down there. Now, other than that, we kind of type in as you see it. So let's go look at that. I'll go back to my symbol, do a backspace. Now I'm going to press my log button. So press log. Then I'll put in my x minus 1. I'm going to press my right arrow key to get out of the parentheses. And then I'll do a divided by. And I'll push my log again. And then I'll put 3 in. 
and then press enter. And now if I press plot, you should get the same graph as what we just did. So that's two different ways you can do it on HP Prime when you have a base other than 10 or E. And that's graphing log functions on HP Prime Calculator.